Hello and welcome to the Department of Arts and Culture's new online grant portal, SurveyMonkey Apply. This video will walk new and returning users through the steps to create and activate an existing user account. Important note, the SurveyMonkey Apply system is a system upgrade from FluidReview. If you created an account in FluidReview over the last three years, your account currently exists in SurveyMonkey Apply under the exact same user email and password. Again, if you had an account in Fluid Review for the Department of Arts and Culture between 2017 and 2020, please use your existing credentials to log in. We will now go through the steps for creating a new account in SurveyMonkey Apply. When setting up your account, please select Organization so that you can access the Arts Internship Program, Organizational Grant Program, and Community Impact Arts Grant Program application. If you've already activated your account and you designated yourself as an individual, the system will allow you to affiliate yourself with an organization. To log in, you will click the Log In button. And again, this is for users who currently have an account in the Fluid Review system. However, if you do not have an account in SurveyMonkey Apply and did not have an account in Fluid Review, you would click the register button, which also appears on the login page. From the main page for the grant portal to register a new user account, please click register. Important information can also be found in this eye icon, which includes information that you may need to set up your SurveyMonkey Apply account if you're having technical issues with the site and to reset a password for an existing account in SurveyMonkey Apply. We will now go through the steps for registering a brand new user account. You will notice that on this first page, you are given the option to register with different platforms. You can do so if you choose. If not, we would ask that you continue registration as an organization. Complete your first and last name your email address, and create a password. Please note that you are asked to include specific characters in your password. If you do not, you will not be allowed to continue with registration. Once you have completed your password, you'll notice that green will appear. If you completed a password that meets the requirements of the website, you will then click the I am not a robot button and create your account. Once you've logged into the system and because you selected to register as an organization, you will need to complete the following information. Organization name, address, city, country, phone number, email, and website. Many of these fields are optional. However, we do recommend completing them as this information will later be used to complete some organization account information that appears in the application. You can also select to do this later or continue if you complete the information. I will select do this later. Once you are in the system, you will be asked to provide a link to an email address that was affiliated with this account. The verification link was sent to your email address. So you will need to click verify on that email in order to access any of the applications in the system. Once you have entered the website and received the verification link, you can continue. We will proceed with this tutorial without receiving the verification link for your purposes, just to ensure that you can see the rest of the pages of this portal that you will need to complete prior to being able to access program applications. First step, please fill out your eligibility profile. Again, you want to confirm that you're an organization and save your profile.
Once you complete, once you click on organization, these fields will pop up below for you. And so for community impact arts grant program, you would be a 501c3 nonprofit, fiscally sponsored organization or municipality. The same is true for arts internship program. These three types of entities are eligible. Whereas for the organizational grant program, only 501c3 nonprofit organizations and fiscally sponsored organizations are eligible for the program. For the purposes of this tutorial, we will proceed as a 501c3 nonprofit. Once you've selected that option, you will click Save My Profile. And again, once you're in this section, you'll be asked to provide your legal name, popular name, FEIN number, a DUNS number, your address, supervisorial district, main phone number, email address, website, a primary organizational contact with the affiliated title, phone number, and email address. This information here is something that's auto-populated in the system by grants administrators, and you are not required to complete or edit that field whatsoever, and then optional executive director information. So we will continue with completing this information. For your purposes, you should be completing both of these fields with the correct FEIN number and DUNS number. A reminder that only projects and organizations based in Los Angeles County are eligible for programs from the Department of Arts and Culture. So please ensure that you are an organization based in Los Angeles County and that your address is also located in, in Los Angeles County. You can copy and paste fields within this form if there's redundant information. And you'll click Save My Profile to continue. Once this section of the application has been completed, you'll be able to move on. You'll notice that for some of these fields, I'm actually being asked to complete some corrections before I'm able to proceed. So something to keep in mind for the website that you're asked to provide is that you'll need to include the HTTP or HTTPS um, prefix for your website in order to continue and save. So wonderful. You'll see that once I've completed both of those, the eligibility section of the website, I can now access some of the grant programs that are available to me. If at any point you would need to reset some of your passwords or information, I would ask, I would say click up here where your full name is located, click on my account, and you'll be directed to the section of the portal where you can update your profile. This is also the place where you'll want to make sure that you're on the correct time so that any sort of reminders are your are equivalent to the time that you're working in. Another question here. If you have entered in information in your account, or if your account was migrated over from the fluid review system, you may have set up an account as an individual. If that's the case, you would want to set up 
an organizational affiliation for your individual account in order to access grant programs for the Department of Arts and Culture's Arts Internship Program, Organizational Grant Program, or Community Impact Arts Grant Program. So let's go through those steps now. This was a step that I, I uh, skipped in the beginning, so we're going to continue here. Again, this information you have already included in, in the eligibility section, but this is for your user profile. Great. So now we have successfully registered for a SurveyMonkey applied account with the Department of Arts and Culture. Again, you will have received a confirmation link to your email and you will not be able to submit applications or complete certain tasks unless you have completed the email verification. We'll continue to the site. So you'll notice that at present, we have no applications that have been started. So you'll click View Programs. Programs are also available here at this section. So in order to continue, we're going to complete the eligibility profile and a reminder for folks that we've already done this for another section, but that was when I was registering myself as an organization. And now we're completing this, organ this user setup for the nonprofit organization that I'm in. So you'll see when you set up an individual account, you will see this uh, portion of the screen appear with a drop down arrow. Here I can toggle between my test account and the social service organization account that I just created. So we'll continue setting up and affiliating an individual account. For an organization. The system takes a little bit to receive your responses. So I'm continuing to click save my profile so that I can access additional sections of this. Here we go again. A reminder to you that these fields should be correct for your organization. And each of the FIN number and DUNS number should be nine digits. Great. So now, because I have created an organizational affiliation, I can access those programs. Let's look, th look at this again and go from the beginning to see what programs you're eligible for. So I've affiliated my individual account with an organization, and so I have access to both Community Impact Arts Grant Program and Organizational Grant Program. The organizational account that I've affiliated my, my user, individual user account with also has this affiliation. So I'm also able to access the 
community impact arts grant and organizational grant program grant applications in this section. For any and all programs that you would have eligibility for, you, will, you can click this programs button to view them. And then once you have created an application, you would click my applications to access any applications that you have already begun. And to begin an application, you would click more. And here, once you are on the landing page for the specific application that you are applying for, you will click the apply button. Once you click apply, you will see every section of the application that you are, that you are to complete. As a reminder to you, until you have verified your email address, you will, receive, you will see this pop up at the very top of the portal, which will prevent you from submitting an application or completing certain tasks. Here you're able to see every section of the application. And you can also look at your activity. When was the last time you, you clicked into the application? Another really wonderful place to view activity is in terms of completed tasks is here in this bar. And you can review any section once you begin the application, review any section of the application. And you'll also see that the submit button to complete an application and submit by the deadline, which is October 7, 2020 for, for CIAG and October 14th, 2020 for OGP and October 28th, 2020 for Arts Internship Program. 